There's lots of eye-catching stuff on the interwebs, and I have handpicked something worth a second look, everybody. This is what I'm liking. If you ever have a beer emergency, I have found the guy for you to call. He is a man in Ohio who recently bought an 80s era fire truck um, and remodeled it as a mobile beer tap. Men everywhere are saluting right now across America. Uh, the truck's water tank was replaced to accommodate 10 different craft beer taps, and it's giving local breweries a big boost in business. Let's talk to Kevin, the owner and beer captain of the fire truck, dialed in from Toledo. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Kelly, how's it going? Man, I know a lot of men right now that just actually started paying attention to my show. Um, so, <laughs> so how did you come up with the idea for the fire truck? Well, this is what every fire truck wants to be when it uh, when it retires. And so I actually I saw a buddy had converted an antique fire truck into a wood fire pizza oven. And that idea just sort of marinated for a while. And so when we, uh, we were living in Texas, we moved back to Toledo and I watched this emerging craft beer scene and outdoor event scene grow. And I knew I wanted to be a part of it and help those small businesses uh, grow their business and get out in front of more people. And so. I pitched the business plan to my wife, and she actually said yes to it. Um, and so I went to Facebook Marketplace, and I typed in fire truck, and I found the exact truck I needed, this sweet vehicle, um, like two hours away from me. I was able to, like, check in on the guy who was selling it and make sure he wasn't like a creeper. And uh, <laughs> three days later, I traveled to Coldwater, Michigan, picked up the truck, brought it home. And we got to work on converting it. We pulled out the water tank. And so you put it all together on a shoestring budget, and it's just been a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it's also really cool, though, because you've been able to help local breweries um, and the greater community as well, right? Well, I, I hope so. I mean, that's a, a real big piece of this business is be able to help promote local business and help support the community. And so, you know, we've been able to give them a new outlet to get out in the community. But then we've also been able to collaborate with them and do great work in the community. So, you know, when COVID happened and it really like canceled our entire 2020 season, we pivoted and started doing root beer floats for heroes yes. in Northwest Ohio. So we're talking healthcare workers and first responders and teachers who I know you and I both love. And yeah. so we were able to do that. And, and the guys at Patron Saints, one of the local breweries said, hey, we'll give you all the root beer you need. Just keep going. And that's what we've done. We've spent all 2020 just trying to give out as many root beer floats as we can. And we're going to keep doing that into 2021. Um, and hopefully our, our normal event and, and private party business will come back. But, you know, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, honestly, my four-year-old is obsessed with fire trucks. So, like, even, like, for parties, like, for kids, they would, they would love that. And a root beer float? Now I kind of hate you, Kevin, because now I want one. And Mama doesn't need a root beer float, but I'm probably going to have one. Um, but thank you so much, Kevin. I love your whole idea. I love how you've pivoted. I love that you're helping your community. I'm liking your post right now. And that's not all, actually. This season, we've partnered with Pilot G2 Pin, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, and they want to recognize great people doing great things, so they're just going to give you $1,000. How does that sound? Uh, that's amazing. That sounds incredible. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a lot more root beer floats going to those heroes. That's what we're going to do. Amen. Give the people what they want is what I say.